will allow you to pilot it in Starfield. To get the ownership of a ship, you need to visit a spaceport technician. What? What? <laughs> that don't make sense. All right, whatever. We'll uh. The ship's inoperable. We shot its engines. Taking everything we need. It's fine. We'll, we'll see about this. Ship separated. Engaging drive. Hmm. Hmm. That's there's a freaking space mine. Oh, not close to leveling up anytime soon, so whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not that I wanted that ship anyways. Uh, spaceport. Don't know. Don't know. I just want... a fucking spaceship that I have stolen. Need some work done? Hey, what can I do for you? Uh... Okay, no problem. Yeah, see, like, I have to bring it to a spaceport. Is the thing. Looks to me like you've already in pretty good. I'm sure you can find something. Okay. Hey, it's the mantis that I sold him. The the razor leaf that I sold the guy. He still has it. And he wants 114 for it. Fuck that. And the prison shuttle I sold him. Love how this looks like it should have a fuck ton of storage, but doesn't. It's so weak. It's depressing. I have more storage on my ship, and this looks hideous. Shipbreaker. Looks fast. Probably isn't. Got some good braking thrusters, though. Hmm. No. All right. It's fine. I would move the stars for you. Uh. Okay. I don't know where this is coming from, but sure. That was a frag grenade that I could have had. Whoops. Hmm. I don't need it. Hmm. I don't need it. What the fuck? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep that. Um, because if he needs proof, that would be my proof right there. You know, can't get rid of the only proof that I actually have. But I hope it does not come to that. Sure. Bro, bro, what? The fact that I can't fucking pick that spaceship. Hello? 
Who said, by the way, Captain? Hello? I'm Captain Buzz Lightyear, yes? Listen. I know I don't got a bounty. I'm mad. I wanted the warlock. Tell me I couldn't take over the ship. Yeah, taking out the ages was <laughs> really the only way. But... Hi. <laughs> oh, God. That's not getting annoying or anything. Great. Fantastic. Um, I got I to gotta play around with that a little bit. See if I can get some spacer ships. Take one of them out, you know. Take out a spacer ship so that way I can uh, see about this unauthorized shit. I'll put a, next time I level up, I'll put another point into, um, Starship Engineering. Got it. Because then I'll be able to fly C-Class ships. Welcome back, Captain. Do you have some news for me regarding Dr. Olay's? I do. jacket excellent please deposit it in the transfer system transfer accepted would you look at that kept it all these years some simply couldn't let go of that old world. This is fine work, Captain. I can ensure the remaining team members find their way to the Red Devil's headquarters. Except for one. That one you'll need to collect yourself. His name is Kaiser. You can find him on the Freestar world of Nera, wandering the battlefield there. The area was ground zero for Xenoweapon deployments during the war. So I would arm yourself appropriately. And I think you'll want to check in with Hadrian and Dr. Walker before paying it a visit. Kaiser will likely have security protocols you'll need their help to overcome. Well, sure. Of course. We're protecting the galaxy, Captain. We'll need every tool at our disposal. I don't know how he gave me three... Oh, God. Every device. Forgot to turn that volume down on that thing. Oh. Authorized personnel only. Your friend has to stay here. I I'm leaving. All right, Andreja, you heard him. Got to stay here. Come to check on you in a bit. Uh. Want to steal spaceships, Starfield? Easiest way to steal a spaceship in Starfield is to wait for somebody to leave theirs neglected while they go explore an alien planet. What? No way. No way. Didn't know that happens. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna need... I'm gonna need that Class C certification. I need to level up.
I don't think I should steal one right outside the, uh, right in the spaceport, though. <laughs> it's probably not a good decision. But, out of curiosity... Is there one at the other space base? Problem. One just broke atmosphere. Can't go over there. It's not fair. What the fuck? Wait, can I go over there? This is the question. I don't I don't know how to to get over to that side. Oh, this is the cargo link console. Okay. Hold up. Can I get to that side? This is question I have not answered, yeah? I have no way to answer. Maintenance. Why is the maintenance bay quite literally just this? Really? Hmm. Wondered if I can find New Atlantis. Uh, while exploring the map outside of New Atlantis. Curious. I tried that earlier doing a very pressing mission, but um, no luck. I have yet to try to smuggle something in with the new... ...smuggling system. Adrian? Oh, it's right here in the soul system. All right, we're going to uh, Mars. We're going to Sidonia. All right. was bright. Oh, hey guys. Uh, don't mind me. Hey. Hey. you might have gotten reassigned you've been gone so long so how's it feel to be a citizen uh doesn't feel any different <laughs> <laughs> to each their own still remember my ceremony 19 years old standing on the front deck of mast looking over the city mm. one of the proudest days of my life but it is real good to have you here again We've been going through the Terramorph data, and, well, we're gonna need all the help we can get. These logs, they're even more thorough than I remembered. 
genetic workups, population statistics, hell, even their food chain. I'd completely forgotten, for example, that there was a creature that actually ate Terramorphs. What? <laughs> At this point, the data's given us more options to explore than we have people to work on them. I'm... what? Well, eight. They went extinct a few decades back. What? A big lumbering thing called an Aceles. Something I'd love to learn more about, if we had the people to look into it. <laughs> That'd be something, wouldn't it? I'm sorry, are you? You're serious. You Damn straight. found our research team? That's incredible. That accelerates everything. With them back, it'll let us... Wait. Kaiser. Did you find Kaiser? Here's my next stop. That... That's right. You would need that. Whoever gave you these leads sure knew their stuff. Well, how? How exactly did you manage to find them? <laughs> I'm just talented. Miracle worker is more like it. Getting Kaiser back, that gives us more than a few new paths forward on dealing with the Terramorphs. But if he's been out there on his own all this time, you're gonna need something. Come on. Oh, We've already made a lot of progress getting this place back online. Some of the containment chambers were a bit on the unpleasant side, but the facility staff made short work of that. <laughs> all things considered, I see a combination of UC and Freestar around here. So, at least it appears that way. Which is good. I have yet to see House Varun. I know it's here somewhere. Uh -huh. Here, Kaiser schematics. Actuators, weapons, batteries. That old robot's been MIA for a while, so chances are he's gonna need some repairs. He's also got a lock on his voice controls. You can give yourself authorization with the phrase, Nos Belli Machinis. Now, where exactly is the old machine? Oh my god, are you talking about Nero? No wonder no one's found him. Xeno weapons are just the tip of the iceberg in that place. The environment's devastated. There's little, if any, real law. Nero's got more than enough ways to make any visit your last. But I think there's a place where you can start your search. Hmm. Yep. One of a kind salvage. Licensed to an Angelo Alonso. Goes by gel. As good a place to start as any. All right. And I'll make sure we're ready to put them to use as soon as you've got them. Well, good shit. Wait, I can just do it from here. Oh, hey. In the Narian system, huh? Oh, there's where my uh, outposts are. Where we're going. Ain't she just swell? One of a kind salvage. I was curious about this place. I was curious. Now we get to actually go to it. Beautiful. Hydrocarbons in abundance. Let us see how they have arranged themselves. Um. Um. Uh, 
Um, a lot of turret control. Good. Not oh. looking to get to know any short termers. Get the... <laughs> Things awesome. It's so cool. Hello. Sorry, trying to wrap this up. It's good that something of value can come from hey! the next. New model on the floor. Welcome to the one of a kind. Refuge and rest home for the hardest scrappers anywhere. Name's Jill. Proprietor. Uh. Not here to make your fortune out in the fields then, huh? Suit yourself. But there's no bot named Kaiser around. Oh, unless you mean Captain Ahab? Least. That's what we've all been calling him. No clue what his actual designation is, since he's got some sort of security protocol that prevents inquiries and general chit-chat. But he's a combat bot, right? Yeah, that machine's been out there a while now, hunting this one siren, his white whale. But it's been a while since anyone's laid eyes on Captain Ahab, though. Maybe he finally got the thing, or it got him. That's where I recognize that insignia. Red Devils. Yeah, Ahab's definitely your bot. So, sounds like you've got two options. You can wander around out there, hunting your bot, little old white whale of your very own. Maybe you find him. Maybe you get yourself killed. But knowing this rock is part of what we do here, so if you want to find him a whole lot faster, I'll sell you what I know about this. Kaiser's location. Going rate's a little steep, but I'm willing to negotiate. Thousand credits? That's steep? I'm listening. Oh, sure. This isn't getting us anywhere. Don't think I'm desperate or anything, but you do have a point. Mm. Hold on. I never said that was my final offer. Okay, okay, okay. You made your point. I'll give you a discount. You know, that's eh, whatever. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. But whatever. So, last anyone heard of him, he was out near the Syracuse shipwreck about a quarter click down the main strip. One of my roughnecks said he heard some kind of beacon. Just keep your ears open. You should find your machine. Eyes open too. Sirens and ecliptic out there, and neither takes prisoners. Oh, and corpse retrieval is not included in this transaction. So now you know. Give Ahab a Kaiser our best. Okay. All right. Well, well, uh, can I have the mech? I want the mech. I want it so, so bad. I want the mech. Give me the mech. Give me the mech. Give me the mech. Give me the mech. So we're going that way. Oh, my Lord. Oh, fuck. 
fuck is this? What the fuck is that? What does your scanner reveal? Oh, hey. Siren. Actually. We're better off with this. Oh, hello. First of all, interesting. Okay, so this is just a lootable. Got it. It's a Kepler. So I'm assuming Barely. Let's be real. Oh, my Lord. All right, there's just a bunch of mechs. Oh. He's more Terramorphs. He's more foos. <laughs> I'm just a little more tired today. All right, well, purple desk fan, some duct tape. Riku, no.
Uh, help. Make me more money, help. Bring it more viewers, bitch. Oh, sure. Leave the out, big boy to me. That's always the third one. Oh, you good? We're good. Oh god, 100% scanned. 2700 health. Well, that explains everything. Actually. Ezer? Ezer, how do I get in here? Oh. Hope he becomes our companion. Kid, he's a total badass like him. Little badass like a motherfucker. Also, just giant Max, can we repair those? I just. I want one. I don't know where I'm gonna keep it, but I just want one. Or five. Okay, I lied. I want two. All right, because both me and Andreja have to have one. Okay. I have PTSD from these shirts. I just want a mech. I want two mechs. One for me, one for my wife. That's all. All I ask. What I wouldn't give for fresh terror brew right now. Get you something? Ah, so that's where your machine's been. Ran out of juice. Heat leeches, wasn't it? Those little stowaways are everywhere on this rock. Suck the power out of a pen light. Of course, you get one back suit. But um, do Tony Stark sorter. You never know. That's yeah. military grade tech. I think we might have one, but I can promise you it's not going to be cheap. You could probably Frankenstein one together using our fabrication system here, but only if you had some quality schematics. So I just brace for a little sticker shock. Mm. All legal. I swear. Yeah. 12 grand, huh? For a microcell. Mm. 
Hmm. Wouldn't have lasted real long here, doing what we do without a top-notch fabrication system. Hmm. So long as you've got the specs, it should be able to handle making you a microcell. But finding materials up to the task, you're likely going to so be a quite a few <laughs> mech hulls out there to find what you need. Though, if you think you can actually manage something like that, I'm willing to make you a deal. I'll point you towards the juiciest harvest sites. Spots where you should be able to find quality parts. But in return, any excess materials you collect, you sell to me, all right? Save us from risking our necks on another run out there. What do you say? Uh... I got it. And let me just mark those collection points. Watch yourself out there. You got a deal. You got a deal. Here's the thing. I don't want to make a... Uh, I'd rather fabricate a microcell. I want to buy it. Can I make one? Shit. I can make one. Something for personal use or for sale? Done. Alright. Fuck that guy. Kaiser? Come back, buddy. So much I love shooting sirens out here. It says something about eclectic being out here too. But uh, I've yet to see him. Siren. Bro. Bro. Where are we going? Why are you taking orders from a robot? I'm not necessarily taking orders, I just, I need this robot. <laughs> so it's like, if I don't help him, I can't just force the robot to come with me. Robot? Yeah, definitely Brobot. I would love to have him on my crew. It's probably a fucking beast. Oh, 
I mean, with a name like Kaiser, like, come on. Bro, where are you taking me? What is it that is said about one man's junk? There is so much junk. It is difficult to recall how that goes. I am detecting Unit 99. But there is a complication. Unit 99 is on the other side of that reach. But it appears to be under the control of hostile forces, Sensor suggests. Ecliptic, a mercenary company like Ecliptic, would only want Unit 99 to utilize it as a weapon. This means Unit 99 must be disarmed immediately. Standard procedure would be a frontal assault on the outpost. No quarter given. Do you concur? Um, uh, sure. Simple and straightforward. A good choice. Moving out. I always love killing some ecliptic. So you're telling me I'm I'm assuming it's one of those fuckers. One of the big boys. Search protocols triggered. Beginning scan. Before I forget, there. No way, don't forget. Clean house. Winner takes all these dead phrase, is it not? Yes, right. Always. Hold on. Probably like one more fucker that I killed. Out here somewhere. How do I get in this building? I know. It's not a building. Also. The work here oh, is finished. <laughs> now, what is this mission you spoke of? Major Sanon is involved. Um. A plague of terror attacks. That is. Disconcerting. You are docked at one of a kind. I will meet you there. Sweet. I swear there was one. Somewhere. Well, I guess I didn't search up here. Nope, oh, alright. Credit disc. 115 credits. Beautiful. 
It's an expert ammo crate. So this one has to go here, which means beautiful. I don't think an expert lock was really necessary for that, but, uh, okay. This weapon case. I need to get more, um, more picks. It's a bit risky. This credits, yes. That's a shotgun, man. Make our way back. So weird that they have these, uh, so many, so many of these icons around. No reason. I guess I could just do this, couldn't I? I always forget. Yeah, well, first of all, hi, hello. Kaiser. Second of all, I'm terrified that there's a killer yes. robot. What can I do for you, boss? Gonna be advanced robot. Uh, it's just a you know giant murder bot. Uh, looming around on the ship somewhere, and uh, I have no idea where he's at. Same. Um, gene tag doesn't weigh anything. Just making sure I somehow don't have any random med packs in there. All right, there we go. Actually. Me. All right, clear to go. Back to Sidonia. Back to the lab. I want a mech.
What ship is this? What ship is this? Who ship is this? Oh, it's not even giving me the option to to say inaccessible. That's not fair. Who ship is this? It's ugly. I want to sell it. Like, ugh. I'm done with this design. Thought that would be good. Mm, a couple of laser emitters. I need missile bay. Oh, it's garbage. That ship is much better. <laughs> My ship is much better. My ship could blast that one out the skies. Geyser! Oh, I can't believe it. Major Sanon, Dr. Walker. You're in better shape than I expected, Geyser. Shouldn't take as long to get you back up to full fighting capacity. This is good to hear. I was told there was a new threat on the horizon. I wish to learn more. Percival will give you the full story. Plus, get you dressed for the occasion. Occasion. Where are we going? Londinium. Hmm. Londinium. Doctor, I will require additional armaments. That's the plan. Come on. Captain, you're with me. Time to walk you through what we came up with. So the problem we're up against is vast. Terramorphs, they can be anywhere. Meaning us finding and disposing of them are if nothing else that Hulk here provides an excuse to warm up together later. Something else do the work for us. Excuse me. Come on. I'll walk you through what we're thinking. We're going to Londinian. We're going to the site of the worst terramorph massacre. Remember we talked about before you went to Nira? The thing that eats terramorphs, the Asilis? Yes. Apparently, they were bloodhounds for terramorphs. But when the UC ran low on synthetic foods during the colony war, the Asilis were chosen to fill in the gaps. We thought they were harvested to extinction. But in the data, the research team found the location of a few remaining specimens. As you can see, what we're proposing is bringing them back. We'd breed populations of them, distribute them to human worlds, and then let nature take its course. Um. Using a method that thousands of years of adaptation have already perfected. We could speed up their breeding process using, well, using some of the same technologies that were used to create me. We even think that with some time and investigation, we could use the Asili's hunting skills to track down the Terramorph transmission method at long last. Find out how humanity spread them and put an end to the Terramorph problem definitively. Um. Uh. If you pick a fight with one, or you're a Terramorph, sure. But Asilis were already spread across the galaxy once before during the Colony War. As livestock, they're far less of a danger than the one we're proposing to clean up. All our data suggests so. Asilis, they're impressive hunters. The few tests we've been able to run, well, they more than got the job done. They're also shockingly adaptable. The data suggests they're able to thrive just about anywhere. And we plan to selectively breed them so they can hunt terramorphs wherever they're hiding. I want one. Which is important because we did some cross-referencing in the terramorph data. Uh -huh. On worlds where Asilis were present, terramorphs weren't. This suggests that however it is terramorphs are getting onto our worlds, Asilis are somehow cleaning that up as well. These creatures are good at what they do. Uh, okay. I really think it could. 
Now, there is another option for removing the Terramorphs from our world. Uh huh. It's faster, maybe even more efficient, but riskier. Blow it a up. microbe. Oh. Something we could aerosolize, let spread, and have it clean up anything with Terramorph DNA for us, which would include morphs, and we expect their transmission method. It'd still take time to build, test, and distribute, but no other method could hold a candle to it when it comes to sheer efficiency. Not even the Asilis. Shit. Um... Sounds like you're playing with fire. I vote for the Asilis. Here's the thing. An airborne method like that, what's to say that it doesn't only kill the Terramorphs? You know, how how are we going to test it? <laughs> Just deploy it on a, a low human population planet type of deal and hope that it's not toxic to humans? Um. Oh, actually. Percival assures me that they're minimal. He'll be able to encode safeguards against mutation in the agent's genetics so that they no. stick to the task no. of cleaning up terramorphs. No. But the microscopic world has a tendency to behave in ways you can't always predict. Exactly. So to say there's zero risk would be a lie. Yeah, no, the surefire method is the Achilles. The Achilles, sorry. Because um, it, it's, it's exactly for that reason. It's not 100% with the microbes. Uh, could the Terramorphs have outgrown uh, somehow during their evolution with advancing the transmission and you know ha things happening earlier uh, become slightly immune to the microbe that doesn't exist yet but uh, probably um, but the Asilis is, is, is a surefire method I, I agree let's go with the natural method first they are quite handsome creatures, almost serpentine. They're majestic. Mm -hmm. Uh, always thought they looked a little more avian myself, but they put the Terramorphs to shame when it comes to charm. With either path, though, we're looking at a long-term commitment. Years of work. Even just getting these plans off the ground is going to take time. And all routes are going to require some highly specific materials to make things majestic. Work. Terramorph cell lines we can breed quickly and consistently to test on. Asili's gene samples we can use to rebuild their bloodlines. Or sharpen our microbes' tracking skills. Not the sort of things any labs just got lying around. But we think we found a lead. One place in the known galaxy where we know we should be able to find all the materials we need. All paths lead to Londinium. Well, let's, uh... A planet overrun by Terramorphs isn't that suicidal? Well, first off, hmm. it's certainly not encouraged, but the UC's given their sign off for this excursion. This trip is all above board. It was the central hub for Asili's processing during the Colony War. But, and this part's exciting, the Terramorph data suggests Asili's were first found there. The planet it's on, Toleman 2, was their home world. Meaning, there's a very good chance their prey, the Terramorphs, came from that same world. Which would also explain why no one ever suspected that planet as the Terramorph source world. The Asilis were too damn effective at cleaning them up. Additionally, it explains why once the Asilis were gone, the outbreak there was so catastrophic. Londinian could very well be where the Terramorph saga began. And the key to its end. Okay, but all I'm hearing is that it is our fault during the war that caused this entire thing to happen. 